I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the SimCloud platform, just an overview of what the platform is and what it can do. Uh, so this diagram uh, kind of depicts the different target audiences that are involved in the SimCloud platform. So walking through it, you've got customers that are using e-commerce components through B2B portals or public facing web stores to access the SimCloud platform and self-service. Uh, for all the things that they need to do related to shopping, product catalog, getting product data, pricing, uh, uh, stock availability information, creating quotes, placing orders, then seeing all their invoice order, shipment, uh, 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 payment, uh, credit history, paying invoices online, making returns, things like that. Your employees can access it through CRM style interfaces to see all of that activity on customers and also log and see uh, um, uh, the customers' interactions with the SimCloud platform, so their digital interactions. Uh, they can also log their human interactions between employees and customers. Uh, there are also uh, uh, basically what we call uh, uh, implementer or operator workspaces uh, that are product information and web content management and application settings systems, which I'll show you in a second, uh, that your employees or what we call workers access. And then we also have an API or cloud data hub that can be used to integrate with third-party platforms. Uh, the SimCloud platform includes uh, a sync tool and framework that installs uh, near your ERP system and basically can sync data between your ERP system and the SimCloud platform. This is some of the types of data that syncs back and forth. Uh, so the big picture here is we're unlocking the business data in your backend ERP system moving data back and forth between the SimCloud platform and opening it up to allow your customers to self-service and get your employees out of the middle so they don't have to be in the middle of all the interactions with your customers, but keep your employees in the know so they can see everything that's going on. If you look inside, I am now in one of the major areas, which is what we call the, the worker portal. Uh, and this is made up of, of different workspaces. The primary workspace you're seeing here is the CRM workspace and this allows your uh, rep style employees uh, to log in and get all kinds of activities uh, and, and view all kinds of information uh, related to customer data uh, that's both done digitally online and synced out from the ERP system. Uh, by the way, the entire platform is mobile friendly. It works on any device from a cell phone, uh, tablet, or desktop all the way up. Uh, getting into the operators and implementers of the platform is these next couple workspaces. This is the product workspace, uh, which, which has a, a full uh, a suite of tools to, to manage product data. Uh, what you're viewing right now is the, uh, 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 a, a subset of the capabilities. There's lots of uh, uh, optional expanded capabilities. There is a content workspace. Uh, and then uh, basically an app settings workspace that's available. Uh, this is for the people that are setting up uh, the overall platform uh, that would be used by customers and reps. And there's lots of configuration option that's involved here, uh, typically in the implementation and some in the ongoing support of the application. There's also a help workspace that walks you through the implementation uh, and, uh, and provides access to the overall help center. Uh, the other key areas in here are a bookmarks bar. This is specific to each uh, worker. When they log in, they can, they can star uh, different links to access them frequently. And then there's a quick add section to, to add stuff quickly uh, that typically corresponds with the CRM workspace. Uh, and then there's basic user management. Uh, so this is the overall worker portal and the different workspaces within the worker portal. Uh, shifting back out, so I just showed you em what employees access through the CRM workspace and the content and product workspaces that were represented by the diagram here. I'm now going to walk over to a couple examples of what customers see. Uh, the first one is uh, the window that they would see would be a B2B portal. So I have gone to a login page as a dealer or B2B customer and logged in. And I now am seeing all kinds of activities that I can take on between product catalog, shopping related activities, and there's lots of capabilities here. My ordering activities, and there's lots of ways to place orders. Uh, uh, I can also uh, uh, manage uh, uh, quotes or saved carts. 
Uh, I can uh, then track all the orders. This is data synced from the ERP system, order and shipment data. Uh, I can see all my invoice and AR billing data, uh, payments and credits. I can pay invoices online. There's expanded, and then I can see all my account information. There's expanded capabilities for things like returns. Uh, I'm just kind of glazing over the surface of this. Uh, that's one of the types of customer sites that we call B2B portal. We also have retail stores and sites uh, or catalogs, sorry. The catalog would not have a shopping cart. A retail store does have a public facing shopping cart uh, that allows your anonymous customers to come here and shop for your products, uh, 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 place orders and, and track their orders uh, through typical e-commerce style or web store style interfaces. All of these are just different windows in to the overall single SIM cloud platform that's integrated with your ERP system. Uh, so what we've, what I uh, just walked through uh, was a representation of two windows that the customers see, the B2B portal and public web stores. I walked through the various workspaces that your employees or what we call workers can see uh, from the CRM style workspace, the content product and app settings workspace, and then also the help center. Uh, I did not show you the API, but there is an API that allows uh, apps to integrate. And of course, all of this is synced with your ERP data. So that's the high level overview of the SimCloud platform.